Hey, what's up? This is going to be a short video for the SQLite 4 beginners course. So here it is over here on the right. It's it's essentially going to be a contacts list app, very similar to what you have that comes default in your Android device. So we'll start by showcasing the search bar at the top. So we click on the uh, magnifying glass here and I can start typing a name. So I can start typing Fry and it, you can see it searches out Fry. And then we can go back and it will grab the original contacts list once we empty out the bar. And we can press this back arrow and it will take us back to the, the list itself and it will close the keyboard. Now let's actually add a new contact to the list. So we click here, we can choose an image either from uh, the phone's memory, so I can click here, or it's from the camera, so this is the camera. You can see this is actually the camera of my phone. And I could take a picture, hit the check mark, and then the picture gets loaded into uh, the center here. It's blurry because I didn't let the camera focus here. Let me take another one. There we go. That's a little better. And then you can select a new photo from the phone's memory by clicking this option right here. So these are just some of my Instagram photos. I can just grab this guy right here. And then we type in a name. We'll call this guy Steve the Turtle. Oh, actually that's already in there. Let's call him Larry the Turtle. and then phone number and the phone number will uh, automatically format to this format right here and then we can give him an email whoops and then we click this little check mark up here to add the contact so contact was saved now let's see if we can find that contact uh, Larry the turtle is right here. So now we can also edit contacts. So we can click on Larry the turtle, for example, here, and it will bring you to this uh, this screen where you can actually just look at the contact. You have you have a card view down here where we can call, text, or email this. And so if I hit call, you can see it actually does execute a call. There's no uh, network available in my office because I don't have service, as you can see up here. You can click the text message here, so and actually execute a text message and we can email. So if we click on the email button, it opens up the email and it goes to Larry at the turtles.com. Pretty cool. Uh, now if we wanted to edit the contact, we click on this edit button up here. It would take us to an edit contact screen and here we can actually edit the information. So I'll just call him uh, Larry instead now just to show you that we're actually changing it and we'll even change the image, why not? And there we go. Now we can save the changes by clicking this check mark up here. It's contact updated. Now let's go back to the contacts list and make sure that that was actually updated. And there we have that updated contact right there. And the last feature that I want to show off is actually deleting contacts. And to do that, we would click on this little ellipses up here, click delete, and we can see that that contact gets removed from the contacts list. So this contacts list app is going to save all the information in an SQLite database in the phone internally. So Everything is stored as text other than the uh, primary key for the column entries, or sorry, for the row entries. And the images are stored as image URLs, and the images themselves are actually stored in the phone's memory. If you're just getting started with Android or you're more of an intermediate developer, I would say that this course is definitely one for you. The course uh, is titled SQLite for Beginners, but there's definitely a lot of more intermediate topics that we go over. I wanted to make sure that. I made it difficult enough that a beginner would learn a lot and even an intermediate would still learn a lot from it. There's not actually a ton of SQLite stuff, like the database stuff might take up only a few videos in the entire course because there's just not that much data. It mainly focuses on uh, like fragment to fragment communication, fragment to activity communication, dialog boxes, um, list views, list adapters, grid views, grid adapters how to manage files in the phone's memory, so in the actual phone's internal memory, using the camera, um, sending text message, emails, making phone calls, and displaying images, of course, as you see, there's tons of images in it. This is also probably my most detailed course. I really take my time to explain every step so that there are no missteps and there should be no mysteries as to how I did what I did. And all the, all the code is going to be uploaded to GitHub in stages. So at the end of each video, I'm going to upload the code to GitHub. So if you ever get stuck, you can just head down to GitHub and click on whatever video that you were on, and it will give you the source code for that particular video. So if you're interested in t checking out this course, head on over to codingwithmitch.com 
go to courses and select the Android SQLite for beginners course you can just click on it or click the pre-order button and uh, it, or click the order button at, at the time of the release probably and uh, yeah you will be able to watch the course on my website it's not actually going to be on YouTube so it will probably never be on YouTube so if you want to watch it it's going to have to get watched to my website you can just make an account on my website it's really easy just go to uh, create an account up here just take your email and your username you create an account and you can uh, watch the courses on the website but if you don't want to buy the course don't buy the course I have tons of free videos on my YouTube channel definitely keep consuming the free content everything that's actually on the course could probably be found on my YouTube channel but it's kind of just all over the place the course will be a much more concise and compact version of uh, everything that's on my YouTube channel so that's all for this brief introduction I'll see you guys in the next video